Hey guys, it's Donna, and today I have a Wantable Limited Edition Back to Comfort box. <laughs> I don't know why I said that's so weird. <laughs> But I love the limited edition boxes from Wantable. And this one kind of piqued my interest because I live in comfort. Um, that is my style because I do stay at home um, most of the week. I do go into the office a few days a week, um, but most of my time is spent at home and with my family. Um, so I thought the Back to Comfort would be a fun box to give a try. Um, Wantable is really cool because they do these limited edition style boxes. They also do active boxes. They have men's edits. Edits is what they call them. Uh, and then they also have sleep and body. And so when they do the limited edition, I think it's neat because it's shaped around a theme. Sometimes they also have freebies. This one does not, unfortunately, but I think the next what I'm going to get does have a freebie in it. So stay tuned for that one for the next box. Um, but Wantable sends you seven pieces that are handpicked by a stylist based on your profile. They also have what's called a stream where you can go in and tell them requests of items that you would like to have in your box. It's not a guarantee, but it gives the stylist a little bit better idea of what you like and what you don't like. You can also reject things. Same idea. It kind of gives them an idea of what you wouldn't want to have. Um, and then you have your normal profile as well. And then the stylist sends it to you. You have five days to try everything on in your home. It is a $20 styling fee, but you get that $20 applied to anything you purchase in your box. If you keep five or more items, you also get an additional 20% off. Plus, on top of all of those discounts, I have $20 if it's your first time trying Wantable that you can take off of something you purchase in your box. And I will leave the details below in the description with the links and everything. So I think we're going to go ahead and dive in and kind of see what our stylist picked for us this time. Um, I'm a huge fan of Wantable. Most of my closet, honestly, is a lot of Wantable. <laughs> um, they just seem to get me, um, and they always are changing their styles um, and reinventing themselves. Um, the box itself gives you all the instructions on what to do. They personalize it with your name. And then I see peeking out here is my envelope. <laughs> this has a prepaid label on it. Whatever you decide you don't want to purchase, you just stick back in here and you ship it off. It's a super simple process. And then we have our self-care is always in style, back to comfort. So this is our invoice. I leave the prices for the end, but I do want to read the stylist note. All right, our stylist is Jordan. Hi, Donna. After party season, there's nothing like getting back to comfort with this limited time style edit. That is so true. <laughs> You'll be ready to relax in no time with these rainy day essentials and cozy must-haves. I was so excited to snag four of our stream requests. Oh, that's good. I know you prefer elastic waist bottoms, so I included a pair of joggers and leggings for you to try. Since purple is one of your favorite colors, I think you'll love the multicolored scarf from CC Beanie. Mm, I like CC Beanie too. Take the next five days to find your favorite hibernation worthy pieces and be sure to share your feedback at self checkout. Plus show off your loungy looks um, and tag I am wantable and at wantable on IG for a chance to be featured. All right, let's see Jordan what we have. I don't know if I can get this out of the box in one piece. Do we try? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the struggle. Wow, I'm impressed with myself. There's a lot of big stuff in here. This box was really heavy. It's pretty jam-packed. We've got some really thick things. Um, so the other thing I have to kind of decide is we are slowly creeping into spring, warmer weather, and whether I actually need these in my wardrobe. So unless I absolutely love something, I need to be picky, guys, on what I'm keeping. All right, so right on top, it looks like the scarf she was talking about. This is by Cece Beanie. They always have their little logo tag there. Love the colors. It's not as soft as I had expected it to be. We've got some pretty ombres going on here. It's a very long scarf. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I guess I could do a couple wraps. There we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's really comfortable. Yeah, it'll probably match a lot of my stuff, too. So, hmm. I don't know. Let me know what you think on that. All right, so this must have been from my stream. And actually, I think I had liked this piece for the Valentine's Day edit that I already opened. So interesting that she threw this in here. It's a simple t-shirt with a little embroidered heart on there. This is by Suburban Riot. Um, it's a size medium. I do like gray t-shirts. I, I don't know about the little tiny heart. Um, I could hang on to it for next Valentine's Day. I don't know. I don't know about that one. All right. I actually own this hoodie in a different color in orange. This is Skyzer Blue, which if, you, if you're new to my channel, that is my favorite brand from Wantable. Um, you can get it other places too, not just on Wantable, but it is my favorite brand, Skyzer Blue. I just think their designs are so unique. The quality is amazing on the things that they have. Um, this is a size large, and this one has the burgundy. 
um, sleeves, um, which I think is really pretty. It's a very thick hoodie. Um, it's thinner in the arms, but this gray material is like spongy. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. The hood is just so warm. And again, it's very, very thick, almost like it's lined with some sort of foamy something in there, but very cozy, very comfy. That one's gonna be hard to pass on. All right, this one's by Love Appella. This one is like a black mm, cow neck crossover sweater. Has a lot of details going on here. We do have the kangaroo pouch in the front that I like. Um, there's a lot going on though. There's a lot of stitching details here. I think it's interesting that there's still a sleeve stitch I would have thought that would be the sleeve stitch. I don't know. Let's get it on to see. Okay, this one's Thread and Supply, size medium. Oh, it's soft. This is way softer than I thought. And it is a pink and gray striped plaid shacket. It's more of a shirt, though. It's not as heavy as a shacket. It's definitely more of a shirt um, for a button-up. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Shacket and I have a love-hate relationship. Never seem to find the right one. I only have a few because they are in style, um, but typically they look too big on me. So I don't know. That's a thinner one, so that might be nice. This is by Dex, size X. Don't know what that means. That's different. I've never seen that type of tag before. This is, oh, pants. It's got a whole bunch of sparkles on it or some speckles on it. And they're, I don't know, this material. It's like a sweater material. I'm very hot and natured. I don't think I need sweaters on my legs. <laughs> um, I've never seen pants made out of sweater material, I don't think, but maybe I'll think differently once I get them on. Don't know about that. And then these must be the leggings she mentioned. These are the um, Hue in size extra large in like a wine color. So I'm actually very curious about some of these to get them tried on. So let's do that and then we'll share our opinions at the end. So hang on. All right. So this is definitely back to basics. Um, we have the basic gray t-shirt with the cute little heart <laughs> that you really can't see unless you're staring or maybe you shouldn't be staring. Um, but I mean, it's a nice length, good fit to it. Um, it's got like a looser sleeve fit to it. Um, I do like the cuffs there on the sleeves. So Comfort wise, it's amazing. Kind of feel like the price is probably gonna be too much for a basic tee, but we shall see. Um, the leggings, I did put these on. They hit me right at my ankle, which is great. They aren't tight whatsoever. They're more of like a lounging style. So I do like that. A little bit loose actually around the waist, but I wouldn't want to size down because I think they'd be too tight. But again, they're just basic cotton leggings. So <laughs> these will probably boil down to pricing and whether I really need to have them. So. Let's keep moving. I already kind of knew I was going to love this <laughs> because I already own it in orange. Um, and I kind of bought that back in the fall, which is why I have it in orange. But I really kind of like this burgundy color. And I feel like it's very, like, great for this time of the year. Great for around the holidays, too, because you've got that wine burgundy red color for Christmas. Um, it is longer. I like to tuck my hoodies under. Um, so it does have a longer length if you like that. Um, but I prefer for it to be tucked. I think it's just a cleaner, nicer look. It does not have the kangaroo pocket. It's probably the only negative to this, um, but I just love the colors. I love how, you know, you have the different gradations here in the sleeve and the different color blocking. The hood I mentioned is like super hoodie. <laughs> um, it's just a lot of nice bulky material, but it's kind of what you want um, when you're cold. Um, and it does have these really nice draw tabs, draw strings um, that have metal cookies at the bottom. I am really having a hard time finding my words today, <laughs> but it's cute. I think it's really cute. It is cute with the leggings too, um, but just not sure. So let's try some more tops on. All right. So I actually kept the leggings on for this because I thought this probably would look really cute. And I do think it's cute with the leggings. I think it would be perfect with jeans as well. It's very comfortable. <laughs> I think it fits very nicely. It's very soft, like blanket material. Uh, it's not too thick, but it's not too thin. So it's a good in between. I like the design on it. I think it's really cute. It's more of a shirt than a shacket, so I'm glad to see that. I would definitely wear it buttoned up. You could certainly put some sort of tank underneath of it, um, and it would look really cute. I like how it comes up on the sides. Very feminine there. The length is really nice. So this one I'm probably surprised by the most out <laughs> of the things in this box, but let's keep going. I, I don't even know what to say about these pants. 
because they literally feel like sweaters on my legs. Um, there's a lot of material going on here. Like it is super bulky. Um, they are definitely just a loose fit pant. They're not comfortable to me. Um, because again, I feel like I'm wearing a sweater on my, on my legs. So it, it doesn't work for me. Maybe it'll work for you. I feel like there's a lot of extra material here as well, which I don't really need. <laughs> um, I don't know. I can pull them like way high <laughs> is how much material I have. So these are definitely a no-go. We have one more top, so let's keep moving. Okay, so I think overall the look of this I really like. Um, the collar is very unique. It has this crossover cowl neck effect, and I like it. Um, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of this seam. I feel like it's making me look very hippy um, because it's not very flattering the way it's coming down. Um, of course, I love the kangaroo pockets. I think that's cute. Um, I can feel the seams on the inside, so that's another reason that I would probably pass on this top, um, but I like it overall. It's very soft. Otherwise, the outside is soft. Um, I just wish I couldn't feel those seams. The length is nice. It does go down over your tushy, so if you're looking to have that covered, it's really nice, but I don't know if I need it in my life, so I don't know, but let's look at the prices real quick, so hang on. All right, so what did you guys think? I do think they hit the nail on the head with the cozy comfort themed edit. Um, so they did a great job with that, with all these cozy pieces. Um, just not sure if a lot of them were my style, but let's take a look at these prices and then you can share your opinions below in the comments. All right, let's start with this <laughs> black top. My pile is so big here. Okay, so this top here is by Love Appella. This is the brushed cross neck cowl pocket tunic in black size medium. I did request this one. I'm surprised, but I did request this one and it's $68. I, I think that's a little too much for how much I like it. All right, the scarf, the scarf here is really cute. This is the CC Beanie multicolored mohair oblong scarf in purple mix. And this one is $44, really nice quality. All right, these sweater leggings, sweater weather. <laughs> these are by Dex. These are legging and starry night X. Um, size X, and these are $35 on clearance. I kind of know why they're on clearance, right? All right. The t-shirt, the gray t-shirt. This is by Suburban Riot, Heart Camp T in Heather Gray, size medium. This one's $52. We're not doing that for $52. All right, the surprising plaid top. This one is by Thread and Supply, Lewis plaid shirt in pink buffalo, um, pink and gray buffalo, size medium. I did request this one, and this one is $61. It's a really nice quality. This is kind of almost my favorite piece in the box. All right, the leggings are by Hue. These are the ultra legging wide waistband in black cherry size extra large 14 and these are $40. And then last but not least is the hoodie. This is my favorite. This is the skies are blue color block sleeve hoodie in burgundy size large. Um, and then this one I requested as well. I already knew that. This one is $69. The quality is really great on this. So I don't know. It's kind of a toss up. I really do like the hoodie and I also like the pink plaid shirt. But let me know your favorite in the comments below. And that is all I have for you guys today. Please take a second to like the video and always subscribe and click the bell so you subscribe to all the notifications when my videos come out. Till next time, guys. Happy styling.